Hey mama and friend of Jesus, welcome to Courageous Fit Female. Do you want to get healthy and feel comfortable in your body? Are you up late at night googling how to have more confidence? And are you afraid you're never going to lose the weight? Do you wake up with ambitious health goals but never seem to have the time to work out or meal prep? Hey, I'm Jacqueline Castro. I am a follower of Jesus, a wife, a mom of two, and a Christian health coach. I too wanted to be healthier for my kids and wished to be energetic and motivated. I wanted to have confidence within myself, feel comfortable in my body, and stop being so self-conscious. But I was afraid of change and afraid of going back to the gym. I told myself that I could figure things out on my own, but I kept failing. Until I found the secret to getting healthy and being comfortable in my body in my 40s. I will teach you how to slowly get back to being active, eat food that's healthy for you, and help you to partner with God in the journey. If you're ready to stop constantly tugging at your shirt and hiding behind others in photos, then grab your Bible and notebook and let's dive into today's episode. Welcome back to today's episode. Okay, question right off the bat. How many Facebook groups are you in? Or specifically, how many Facebook health groups are you in? Today, we're gonna talk about the Facebook health group that you are a part of if it is misleading you and five things to look at so you will know. And I have a little surprise for you slash announcement. So stick around until the end of this episode to know what that is. And if you didn't already figure out what that is, then you really do have to stick around for the episode. (laughs) Okay, so getting into the first thing to look at. So I want you to imagine yourself going through, scrolling through Facebook and then you see a health group that you're a part of on Facebook and you look at the content that they're posting, okay? So I want you to imagine yourself doing that, reading what the content's about, reading what the post is about, and keep in mind that these are things that I'm listing so that when you're in the Facebook group, you're gonna figure out whether or not you're being misled or not. Okay, so the first thing for you to look at is, number one, does the group encourage you to lean on scripture? So that is, should be an obvious thing right as a Christian like it's it's okay to be in a group like I'm in you know maybe two or three groups that are not Christian groups but because they are based on science and they're backed up with information that has been studied and researched then I feel like it's a well worth my time to be there so first thing though is encourage does it does the group encourage you to lean on scripture or does the group leave it out So of course, you're going to have to have discernment and figure out, right? Have the wisdom and figure out whether or not this group is, well, what I should be saying is, is if it's a Christian group, then are they sharing scripture? And with that, guys, it's not just about scripture and saying, okay, check it off the box. There is, they're a Christian group and they are sharing scripture. For me, what I look at is they actually help me with the application because Even if you're not in a Facebook health group, right? You have friends that post Bible verses, but sometimes you don't really know what to do with it. Or maybe, maybe, okay, let's consider that maybe it's just not a verse that you hear God speaking to at the moment, and that's fine. But if you're in a health, Facebook health group, and they're just posting Bible verses because, you know, for the sake of them being a Facebook group that's Christian, I personally, I look at whether or not they're actually helping me with the application. Because just telling me a verse, many times I can't make it connect to what I'm going through. And maybe we don't always need that. But the point I'm trying to make is, I think of 2 Timothy chapter 3, verses 16 and 17, which says, All scripture is inspired by God and is useful to teach us what is true and to make us realize what is wrong in our lives. It corrects us when we are wrong and teaches us to do what is right. Verse 17, God uses it to prepare and equip his people to do every good work. So I want to know what is God teaching me or trying to tell me in a specific verse, right? I don't want to just even see or read or memorize a verse if I have no idea what it's talking about. How is God trying to tell me how to prepare and equip me with this verse? He wants me to do good work, right? He wants me to do X, Y, and Z whatever it is to bring him glory and bring him honor. But what is the verse telling me? So if you're in a Christian health group and it's not really sharing with you 
how to make sense of the verse or how it's applicable to your health or whatever the post is talking about and they're just putting Bible verses. Because sometimes we need application, right? We need to have an understanding of what the verse is talking about. And so having Bible verses in a group is is good. It's great. But if it doesn't help me with what I'm going through, then it's not necessarily encouraging me to lean on scripture. Okay, so the next thing now is to ask yourself, what is the reason that you are joining that group? Why are you in the group? What, what's your intention? And is it really worth your time being in the group? So is it the reason why you are in the group is because of community? Maybe you just want to make connections. You want the relatability and you're getting that from the group. Maybe you just want to get help for the problem that you're facing, right? That's great. That's the reason why they have groups on Facebook because it should help you with that actual topic or having relatability to help you to figure out whatever your problem is. For me, I was off of social media for a couple of years. Probably from the beginning of the pandemic, my Facebook actually got hacked and so I just didn't even want to deal with it. And same thing with Instagram. It didn't get hacked, but I just I just didn't want to deal with social media. I didn't want to spend time on it to even begin with for fear of getting addicted because it's very addicting, right? If you can totally understand where I'm coming from when it comes to it could be addicting, then we need to be very cautious about that. But that's a different topic. So anyways, I am back on social media and it's a place for me to get support with the mastermind that I'm in and, you know, really being in a community with like-minded women who also love Jesus and who are also building an online business. It's a great place for me to be. And I've, I've also learned over the years how to give myself space for social media and then delete my app and then be done with it until I need it again. So I make it hard, right, for myself to have to re-download the actual app if I wanted to get back on it, or I have to go on my desktop, which I'm hardly over on my desktop. So anyways, what is your reason for joining? What is your intention? And for me, I know that when I'm on the actual Facebook group that I'm a part of, that it's worth my time to invest my time in the group and to also also make connections with the people, the other women that are in that group. So for you, whatever health Facebook group you're in, What's your reason for joining? What is your intention? And is it worth your time? Maybe you just joined the group because somebody sent you the page and was like, hey, or somebody sent you the group and was like, hey, join this group. Is it, it's good for you. And you just join it. And then you just keep piling up all these different Facebook groups and you don't even, you can't keep track and you're, you're not even sure about what the group is for because you, you don't even go in. You probably even muted the group, right? Because maybe the reason that you joined had nothing to do with you really needing the group to begin with. The third thing for you to look at to figure out whether or not your Facebook health group that you're in is misleading you is to ask yourself, is it serving and catering you to your specific need? So is it is it truly serving you for what you need, the problem that you are facing when it comes to your health? Or are they being very general, right? Because I have been in several Facebook groups that deal with a specific topic And they say that they are going to be helping you or be talking about whatever the topic is, whatever the name of their Facebook group is, but they're very general and it's not specific. So is the group that you're in serving and catering you to your specific need? Because if you are looking for a group for menopause and women experiencing menopause and support for that, then you would think that that is something that they would be you know, posting about the topics that they talk about all revolved around that. But more often than not, we come across groups that they are very general. They don't necessarily stick to the actual topic that they should be talking about. The other thing is, is it gender specific? So if you are a woman and you are experiencing problems specifically that are what women specifically go through in a specific season of their life, then Shouldn't there only be women in that group? Another thing to consider when it comes to being served and catering to you and your specific need when you are in a group is I've noticed that there are many distractions in a group and it's because they're not sticking to the actual specific need, right? 
It's basically everything but the kitchen sink. And I was thinking about everything bagel. Is that what it's called? Bagel everything? I forgot what it's called. Everything bagel. Yeah, there you go. I was thinking about everything bagel, that that seasoning, it's a yummy seasoning. And the reason why they call it everything bagel is because there's everything in it, right? Everything but the kitchen sink. There's sesame seeds, sea salt, dried minced garlic, dried minced garlic, black sesame seeds, poppy seeds, and I just googled this guys. It's everything dumped into one seasoning. Another example is everything butter. I don't know if you guys have heard of that, but it's something that I was introduced to by my sister a couple weeks ago and I was like, what? I've never heard of that. That sounds really good. If I like everything seasoned, everything bagel, then I know I'm gonna like everything butter. So in everything butter, there's hemp, chia seeds, sesame seeds, sunflower seeds, flax seeds, pumpkin seeds with peanuts and almonds. So I'm sorry if those of you are unable to eat those specific ingredients, but it's again, everything that is dumped into the actual butter, right? It's called everything butter. So if you're in a group that does that, they, they're, they're, they're just dumping literally any kind of topic that comes to health, right? Anything that comes to health, then it's probably not catering you to your specific need. It may, it may not be. You have to decide this for yourself, have wisdom, figure out, is this just another group that's collecting in the groups that I have on Facebook or is it really something that's specifically meaningful to me because it's actually, it's not general, it's specific, right? So think, is it, do they provide focus for you or are, is it distracting you, right? Because it could be like a whiplash. Maybe they can be offering you like a million other things that have nothing to do with the problem that you joined the group in the first place. They can be offering you irrelevant topics, irrelevant things. So now number four, the fourth thing to think about whether or not the Facebook health group that you're in is misleading you is does it provide what you are seeking, which kind of ties into the previous thing that we just talked about. But I want you to think about, does it provide how to be healthier? Does it guide you? Does the group keep you on track, right? So those are some things for you to think about. Does the group provide what you are seeking? And the fifth thing now is to Think about how would you describe the group and its impact and how it has impacted you on your health and your habits. Again, we can be in a million other groups and there's really no impact. It's just another group collecting in our group of Facebook groups, right? So think, has it helped you with consistency over a long period of time? I know that I've been in groups that they put together free five-day challenges, but there's no follow-up or support or accountability. It's just a PDF five day challenge, right? And it's just, it's just there. So it didn't really impact me. And what I do really appreciate and I think it's worth my time is the groups that really do impact my health and the groups that really give me steps to have more energy and to sleep better and to, you know, stay hydrated. And because of those things, I can actually think more clearly and make decisions easier because I am keeping myself, you know, on track to these specific things that I need to do to stay energetic and to stay healthy, right? So how, again, number five, how would you describe the impact that the group has had on your health and your habits? Because honestly, guys, if it has not been impactful to you in one way or another, then it's probably not a group that is leading you in the right way. It's probably something that can be misleading you. I do want to point out that what I'm meaning to say when I say that they may be misleading you is let's just take a step back and think about misleading, right? When someone is walking down the street and you want to lead them to, let's say they want to know how to get to Target, right? And you're going to tell them exactly where to go. Take whatever blah, blah, blah street and then take a right. And then from there, you're going to see a building, blah, blah, blah. However you, <laughs> you guys explain directions, right? Here in Guam, where I live, like the way we give directions is, oh, the second coconut tree. And then like after that, you see a fire hydrant that's yellow. And then you see a house with a red door on it. So we do not give directions here with the name of the street. So if you're going to be telling someone, giving them instructions how to get to Target, you're going to tell them exactly how to get there. You're not going to distract them and or even make it sound like you know how to get there. If you don't know how to get there, then you're going to tell them, I don't know how to get there. And that's something that I 
come, I have come to acknowledge that if I'm coaching someone and I don't know the answer, then I tell them I don't know the answer. And that is where I can direct them to someone else that can help them specifically to exactly what they need. But that is exactly what I mean by being in a group that can be misleading you. I have been in groups that have misled me because it's a group that just literally focused on the vanity metrics. How many pounds to lose by 30 days? I want to lose five pounds. Okay, teach me how to lose five pounds in 30 days or whatever the situation is, right? These are not things that I want to focus on at this point in my life. I'm not trying to lose X amount of weight. I want to make sure that my body is doing the things that it needs to do specifically for the season that I'm in, for the age that I'm at as a woman. I'm not in that season anymore that I, you know, where I cared so much about being able to do a pull-up or to be able to climb a rope or whatever the situation is. Guys, I just want to be healthier so that I can feel energetic, so that I can make sure that I have the physical energy to take care of my family and to do all the things that God is calling me to do. It's as simple as that. So what, what do I need to do to make that happen, to accomplish that, to have the energy so that I can sleep better, right? And all those things. Am I in a group that can help me do that? And for you, I want you to ask that to yourself. Now, I do want to leave you with a bonus question. I'm going to recap everything right after the bonus. So the bonus question is, are you still drowning in the same problems? My sisters, are you still drowning in the same problems? So after evaluating these questions for yourself and assessing it for yourself, would you say that it's a distraction, the group that you're in? Or is it helping you? Or is it worth your time? Because if it's not, why are we still in the group? Why are we still in participating in something that is not making the best use of our time? So let me just recap all the questions. So this is what we're talking about today, right? We're talking about whether or not the Facebook health group that we're in is misleading you and five things to look at so you know. So, number one, is it encouraging you to lean on scripture or is it leaving it out? And with that, is it helping you for the application part, right? Number two, what's the reason for joining the group? What is your intention? What is it worth your time? Number three, is it serving and catering to your specific need? Number four, does it provide what you are seeking? And number five, how would you describe the impact it has had on your health and your habits? And the bonus question was, are you still drowning in the same problems? Because we can only go so long by continuing to try to find the answer and the solution to the problems that we're having. We can only do that so long, right? If you're not finding the solution to the problem that you're looking for, then you are just going in the same circle, the same pattern, doing the same things every single day with no change whatsoever. And they define that as insanity, right? So let's not be walking with insanity and just yelling at the air and saying like, I don't know why this is not working. Like I've tried this, I've tried that. Like there's a whole other bunch of elements that we can look at like consistency. How long have you been trying this thing and this and that. But for this episode, we just want to focus on an actual Facebook group that you are in. And is it misleading you as a Christian woman, as my sister in Christ? And these are the five things for you to look at. So you will know whether or not that group is misleading you. And it's really important for me, guys. I know it is for you to really make the best use of the time that you have because we have our kids to take care of, we have our families, we have our jobs, and nobody wants to be misled. We don't want to feel that we are going in the wrong direction. So that's the reason why I had this episode for you guys to really think about where are you with the health group that you're in. And now, drum roll for the announcement. If you didn't already guess it, guys, I'm super excited to share with you, to announce, to invite you to be a member, to join the Facebook group that I have just created specifically for you, my audience, my Courageous Fit Females. And you can find it in the link below. Or if you are at your phone right now or at a desktop, you can just go to go.courageousfitfemale.com forward slash Facebook. Again, that's go, G-O dot courageousfitfemale.com forward slash Facebook. You're going to be asked three questions, answer the questions, and then you'll be in the group and then we get to connect. And I'm super excited. That's one of the reasons why I'm super excited, guys, is to just make connection with you 
and to engage with you guys and to encourage you to keep going in this journey when it comes to health and just really feeling comfortable in your body in your 40s. Because us being in our 40s, let's be real, it is not the same as when we were in our 20s. And the Facebook group that I have, it's called Get Healthy and Feel Comfortable in Your 40s. Because let's be real guys, we do not have the same goals as when we had goals when we were in our 20s. We just wanna get healthy. We just wanna feel comfortable in our body when we're in our 40s or in our 30s or in our 50s. Basically in our midlife, right? So do not delay, go to go.courageousfitfemale.com forward slash Facebook, answer the questions and let's get you in the group. Let's connect, let's engage. Do not delay. I'm super, super excited to have you guys in the group and to start connecting. All right, my sisters, I will see you in the Facebook group and or in the next episode. And until then, for his honor and for Jesus's glory, stay courageous and stay fit.